people and welcome to the Golden Path of the Runes. This is episode 42 and I'm broadcasting live tonight from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Hang on one sec. I'm losing stuff here. Let's see if I can move your comments up. I don't know why. It makes me rearrange every time I use this. That's all right. At least I think I kind of have it figured out. Um, let me know if you guys can see me. Um, we're going to, tonight we're going to work on our root chakra and the full moon. We're going to do a release and we're going to do the release early tonight because sometimes I get to the end of the night and I can't, um, do my release cause it's too late. Hi Fatima. Hi Gail. To get you guys written down. Hang on, I'm still trying to move stuff around here. Just won't let me move you guys up. I'll try moving the playlist. There we go. All right. I have Fatima. I have Gail. I have Faye. I have Kat. Donna. Crystal. How's everybody doing tonight? It's a beautiful night. Still not letting me put this in the right spot. Hang on. Ugh. Everything has to be a hassle here. There we go, I think. Nope. Will not let me move you guys up to the top. Will not let me do it. Let's see. There we go. Hooray! Okay, let's see who I stop with. Crystal, Valkyrie, Audrey, Emily. Shivani. That's somebody new. Nice to see you all. Please like and share. We're broadcasting live tonight from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We are going to be working on full moon and our root chakra tonight. So let's go ahead and hi, our Celia. She's going to stop in and say hi. You'll have to stop in, uh, look the replay later. That's cool. We'll be, I'll be on there later to see you. All right, guys. So see now it's Facebook is already telling me something's wrong, and I know nothing's wrong. I got new internet um, set up today, so I'm hoping that we don't have any freezing up or any problems. All right, so let's go ahead and take a nice deep breath in. Let's breathe in love, grace, and forgiveness, and breathe out any energies that are stuck, any low vibing energies, anything that's bothering us today. Um, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to swing our pendulum and make sure we're not getting any interference tonight. It's my Merkaba Rose Quartz Pendulum. Through all times, dimensions, lifetimes, timelines, planes. Good, I'm glad. I think that we should be doing better, but I'm still getting error messages. Hi, Sherry. Nice to see you tonight. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and take that nice deep breath in again love grace and forgiveness and breathe out any stuck energies let's go ahead and call in our quarters tonight um the directions tonight we're going to start with the north and the earth and i'm going to go ahead and put the rune of need and the rune of feu which are both um about being stable secure being well taken care of material possessions let's bring in the um archangel Uriel of the earth the beautiful mother earth let's bring in the energy of the white buffalo mother and the buffalo energy and let's just feel all that stability and security and strength call that all into our circle tonight the colors greens and browns let's took hi Jacqueline hi Veronica I'm just going to write you guys down. Please like and share. Tell your friends. Um, we will be doing runes tonight. Um, I'm going to try to limit it. Right now I have 14 people. I'm going to, I think that might be it. 
and we'll see. We'll see how we do. All right, so let's turn to the East in the Air and call in the Archangel Raphael, the healer, the color yellow. We're going to go ahead and put, and put the dawn of the new day. And the Earth is all about our physical healing, our physical well-being, that um, our bodies. And the, the East in the Air is all about the ethereal. It's all about our spiritual self and healing ourselves. And so we're going to bring in that energy of Raphael, the healer, of the beautiful um, Hecate, the triple moon goddess. Bring in that eagle energy, that yellow energy of new beginnings. And by putting those runes of the dawn of the new day and Ing um, to help us with communication. And then we're going to look to the south and the fire. And that's all about our mental health. And so we're going to bring in that beautiful red energy. We're going to bring in the Archangel Michael for protection and strength. And we're going to go ahead and bring in the um, wolf from the south, the grandmother wolf for protection. And bring all that energy in. And now let's go to the west in the water. And that's all about our emotional self and bringing emotional healing. Now in the south, we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to bring in Eol the elk. And I'm going to bring in Tyr, uh, the sky god. And in, in the west in the water, we're going to go ahead and let's see. We'll bring in... Um, I'm going to bring in Lagaz, which is all about intuition and water, and bring in that energy of Gabriel, the messenger, and the bear energy of healing. And this is all about emotional healing. Let's feel that beautiful ocean energy just come rolling in on us. And now we're going to close our circle up to the north, and we're in our circle tonight. And our circle is feeling amazing. All the energies, the collective energies of all of us. Take that nice deep breath in again, a cleansing breath of love, grace, and forgiveness. And breathe out any interference or anything that's bothering you tonight or any frustrations with any situations. And go ahead and just bring all that energy back into our heart space so we can feel all collectively gathered in here and feel that nice healing energy. And we're going to go ahead and bring in the Merkaba energy, the two quadrahedons that are rotating the Divine Masculine and Feminine, and it's right behind me here. And bring that beautiful energy around us to protect us. And that feels fantastic. So now we've got the quarters all called in, and we're going to go ahead and ground ourselves and get uh, in connection with Mother Earth energy. Um, so let's go ahead and visualize... Nice roots just coming out of the bottom of our feet. Uh, this is our one of our vertical um, chakras from our root chakra. And we're going to go straight down into Mother Earth and connect in with that energy of healing. Um, let's visualize the beautiful crystalline heart chakra of Mother Earth in the middle. And we're going to tap right into that and feel that energy of strength and stability and feel connected and loved and take a nice deep breath in and just release anything that's no longer um, serving us and we're going to go ahead and for my beautiful Valkyrie we're going to bring this beautiful pink energy up she loves the color pink and bring that right up through our legs right up through the bottom of our feet up our legs and up to the vertical uh, our vertical chakra into our root chakra Open up that nice red lotus flower. Put that rune of need and strength and stability. And feel that energy of connection with Mother Earth. And let's release out any stuck energies. We're going to go ahead and ring the bell. Feel that connection with Mother Earth. Stability, strength. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I have my beautiful, um, this is Bjork, which means birth. And it's a handheld mirror. I make these uh, rune mirrors. And we're going to go ahead and look in the mirror tonight. And we're going to say, through all dimensions, through all times, we're going to bring the energy of Bjork, the birth, the new beginnings, and the connection with Mother Earth into our um, circle tonight. And let's go ahead and bring that energy right up into our sacral chakra. Open, feel that beautiful yellow color. We're going to hang out. I'm sorry, orange color. We're going to hang out in the orange for just a moment. Open that lotus flower up. Feel that energy coming from front to back, back to front. 
that sacral chakra. We're going to go ahead and put the rune of tear, the sky god, and it's all about creativity and passion and connection, sensuality, sexuality, being in touch with ourselves, allowing ourselves to tap into our gifts and being proud and sharing of all of those things that we have. Oh yes, Miss Pink made me, <laughs> made you choke. Oh yes, uh, Valkyrie loves that pink. So we're going to call that energy right up into our solar plexus and we're going to feel that beautiful yellow energy, that level of our, our chakras. Open up that beautiful yellow lotus flower. We're going to put the rune of, um, let's put eel in the elk for strength and confidence and feel that energy from front to back and back to front, clearing out any stuck energies. We're going to go ahead and visualize that beautiful golden orb coming out of our solar plexus and surrounding our entire energy field to bring us protection and strength. And we're going to just feel that now we've got our own circle going on. We've got our golden orb going on. We've got our Merkaba surrounding us. We're all in this beautiful energy of protection. Hi, Mona. How are you tonight? And feel that beautiful energy together. And go ahead and take a nice deep breath in. And then we're going to just hang out just for a moment in this yellow energy. This is a really good space to be able to um, communicate uh, connection with the divine energy. Because we're heading right up into our heart chakra, which is the astral plane. Which is very much more wide open. And so we need to really protect our energy on this level. This level number four. And this is the fourth chakra and feel that green energy in that wide open space. And we're going to go ahead and allow ourselves to feel that beautiful connection with the divine. Open up that green lotus flower and let's go ahead and put, uh, hi Monica. Nice to see you all tonight. Okay, I think we're, we're probably maxed out on readings tonight. So just letting you guys know. Um, feel that oh, beautiful heart energy. We're going to put Gifu, the rune of the gift, and Wonjo, the rune of peace, right on our heart chakra tonight. And feel that beautiful energy. And we're just going to hang out just for a few moments on this green, beautiful plane. And feel all that amazing energy and love. And then let's go up to our fifth chakra, our throat chakra. Open up that beautiful blue lotus flower. Feel that amazing ocean energy. And this is a great healing chakra. It's the one of the divine chakras and the connection to help us to understand and discern information that we're receiving and process it from the front to the back and the back to the front. And we're going to put the rune of Answas, uh, the mouth, and the rune of, of Odin who is a great messenger, and we're going to feel that amazing west energy, that cleansing ocean energy, and all that fantastic. Feel your chakra just getting cleared out. I'm going to take a nice drink. i got a little drink of water here. Ah, feels great. Let's go up into our third eye. Put the rune of Lagaz on our third eye. Open up that beautiful indigo um, lotus flower and allow that energy of connection, of understanding, of all of our clairs hang out there, of discernment and understanding and bringing in energy so we can communicate it. And we're going to put the beautiful infinity symbol right on our, on our thought processes and help us to stay uh, all of our endocrine systems and all of our glands and all of our processes within our body to stay in tune and helps to bring healing to our body. Now let's go ahead and bring that energy right up to our crown chakra. We're going to put the rune of Dayag, the dawn of the new day, and Ing, the divine connection rune. And we're going to feel that beautiful purple flower. This is the vertical chakra that heads us straight up into the divine. And feel that connection to the vine. We can feel red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. And straight up into the bright white light. 
and allow ourselves to go up higher and higher. Let's connect in first with our higher self and put our uh, connect our heart chakra in and feel the connection, the love, ask for guidance and beauty and strength to come to our circle tonight. Let's go ahead up higher and higher through the divine bright white light and let's connect in with the source of all that is, the divine energy and allow ourselves with that the perfect balance of the divine masculine and feminine, that beautiful flow, the strength and beauty, the protection and love and allow them to mix together and feel that tap into the heart chakra of that divine white, the source of all that is and allow that energy to just come back down right to our soul star chakra and we're going to hang out right up here it's the spot where we can let go release and not be concerned or worried and allow ourselves to just feel that great divine connection i'm broadcasting live tonight from pittsburgh pennsylvania i do want to show you guys my blessed biscuits these are my cbd cookies that um, are all about the runes and the chakras they are um, this one is the root chakra and these are cranberry and they're quite delicious i also have the crown chakra and they are purple but they have the flavor of orange i couldn't find a really good grapey flavor so i did orange and they taste absolutely delicious these are shortbread cookies um, this is an old old celtic recipe that i'm using and the this one is the throat chakra it has answers on it and they are a pomegranate flavor and i do have edible glitter on them they are delicious and they are quite i call them my chillaxing um, and they are just programmed right for the right chakra for the right time for the right person so check out my blessedbiscuits.co um, website and get yours um, buy them for your friends I do have a three month subscription box that you also get a free reading with that and some crystals and all kinds of cool stuff and it's a $300 value for $115 so that's a great gift so let's ring in root chakra sacral chakra, solar plexus, heart chakra, throat chakra, third eye, crown chakra. And we're completely connected. Let's talk just one moment about our root chakra. I pulled three runes tonight that I feel correlate with our root chakra. And the first one is Bjork, which we looked at our beautiful mirror tonight. And this is all about birth and creation and bringing things in manifesting and bringing things into this world. So it's all about hearth and home and beginnings. And I brought in Gifu, which is the gift. Oh no, I'm sorry. This is Need. Need, which is, um, it's a line with a cross over it. And this is all about um, being stable and secure and connected and feeling that energy of four, that energy of protection, that foundation that we live on. And lastly, I have the rune of Feu, which is cattle, which is all about earthly abundance. So we are connecting in and grounding tonight through our root chakra. I'm going to take a whiff of some frankincense oil, which is very grounding, connecting. This will help to raise vibrations. Just feel that vibration raising and keeps us from being grounded but not feeling insecure in any way and always feeling connected to Mother Earth. So tonight we're going to go ahead and start out doing our full moon ritual so we don't miss it. I'm going to go ahead and put my, get my stuff out here. I wanted to show you, I have this beautiful um, selenite base. And it has the um, Viking symbol for the directions, which we have called in tonight. And it also is etched the whole way around with all of the runes. So this is the basis of our, um, where we're going to put all our energy tonight. And I'm going to go ahead and light this beautiful black candle to dispel any negative energy. This is the full moon. I'm going to go ahead and carve some runes into it. I'm going to carve um, protection, banish negative energies, holding any negative influences. So I'm doing tear 
and Answas and Isa and Thorazaz and Wenjo for joy. And then we're going to go ahead and say for all of us in this container tonight that we may feel this protection energy and this release on the beautiful full moon and the amazing energy that we are going to release here in just a couple of moments. We're going to go ahead and light this candle. We're going to banish any negative energies, halt any negative influences, and, and bring in one Joe the joy and bring in healing from our um, beautiful tree runes and we're going to go ahead and light this candle and we're going to say by the power of the south and the fire bring to fruition all of our wishes that we have carved into our candle tonight and I have I'm going to set my beautiful fireproof um, pauldron right on top of that uh, if we can get this going right on top of that beautiful um, compass with the runes on it I also ha I made an offering bowl tonight I make these little bowls and this has um, Feyu which is all about prosperity and grounding and I have a little offering bowl and I'm going to put in the offering bowl one of my little acorns that I painted and also a real acorn I have um, six pieces of my blue Hopi corn, I don't know if you can see that, and a pinch or two of tobacco. And this is all about gratitude for Mother Earth, all the gifts and abundance, and the acorn is all about faith and how you can start out as small as an acorn and end up as huge as an oak. And I have my little offering bowl, and we're going to put that right beside our beautiful um, cauldron there. And I'm going to go ahead and get my leaves that I have already written on tonight for us to release. And the first one that I'm grabbing right here is anger. We're going to go ahead and release any anger we have because anger is only destructive to us. We um, can use anger at times if we are... Um, having to do some kind of powerful um, protection spell. And there it goes. We're releasing any unnecessary anger. We're releasing any illusions of isolation and not being part of. I'm going to go ahead and... Woo, that one really went up. Releasing illusions of isolation, of uh, sickness of shame, guilt, releasing shame. That one's really going up too. Release that and let it go. And as we release these things, we are making room for high vibrational energies like love, unconditional love, um, and all the things that we are bringing into our lives. Cooperation. We're going to go ahead and release fear, any fear we have, any doubt in ourselves any fear that is an illusion, any fear that other people are trying to make us feel. And we're putting that right in our cauldron. Now make sure if you guys do this, these are bay leaves that I've written this on. Make sure you have a good fireproof container. It's very dangerous. And any guilt. No more guilt. We are feeling proud. We are feeling um, blessed. We are feeling gratitude. We are feeling love. We are releasing any of those low vibing energies and I'm going to go ahead and put our beautiful can our candle right in our cauldron and we're going to go ahead and start our readings tonight that feels like great energy to start out with so I'm going to start with Fatima if she is still here and if not she can listen later tap into her energy and feel that amazing vibration release any stuck energies and those bay leaves smell fantastic. And let's go ahead and see what the runes are saying tonight for beautiful Fatima. Try to get myself a little organized here. I'm going to spray just a spot of my Clear the Air spray. It is um, frankincense and sage and moon water. And it has crystals in it. Excellent. And that 
that frankincense really helps to raise the vibration. It releases any old and stuck energies, any low vibing stuff that's going on. So you're watching The Golden Path of the Runes, episode 42. Please like and share. I will not be back the next two weekends because it is Christmas Eve here and it will be New Year's Eve. So the next two Friday nights I will not be having a broadcast. And so I, um, you could smell them, right? Amazing. All right, beautiful Fatima, let's see what we have for you tonight. On the Eye of Horus runes, we have Answas, which is all about the mouth and the throat chakra. It's all about being able to communicate. And I'm going to go ahead and put that rune right on the throat chakra tonight. And I'm going to bring in that beautiful healing ocean energy because I feel some stuck energy there. Let's pull that out. Release that. Pull that out. Release that. Allow yourself to feel that energy of communication from the divine, of bringing up from your sacral chakra your gifts, and being able to communicate with ease and grace and move all that stuck energy. Let's clear that chakra out and bring love and understanding and allow yourself as you come up with the information that needs to come from you and that you are trying to communicate so that there's no frustration um, allow it to flow from you in that divine feminine flow and alleviate frustration and alleviate inability to communicate clearly because all of the information is trying to come out at once if you allow it to flow with grace and ease and we're going to put that beautiful answers right on the throat and feel that energy just bringing so much calmness and peace into your um, mind, heart, and soul. We're going to put that infinity symbol right on your thought processes. So as the information comes in from the divine, it'll be communicated clearly and smoothly and beautifully for you. And as the communication comes from your uh, creativity, um, we are creatrixes now. We are creating our new reality. We are changing our frequency and our vibration. We are allowing this energy to come up through us and rise up and become um, more fluid more uh, balanced with the harmony of the divine masculine and feminine. So feel that energy of love and balance and truth just flowing out of you. And it's not in anger or frustration that you have to communicate it. It's keeping your healthy boundaries and allowing yourself to um, drink in and live in the divine abundance of Mother Earth, of all as the child of the goddess and a child of Mother Earth that you are entitled to. So allow that energy. I just feel it flowing so freely. Just getting all that stuck energy out of your throat chakra, clearing out that frustration, and helping you to speak with grace and ease. Let me know how that resonates with you, Fatima. We're up to beautiful Gail. See what's going on with Gail tonight. Uh, like I said, I will not be back again until, I don't know what day it'll be, January. Let's see. Might be like the 6th or 7th. Might be the 6th, I think. Um, that Friday night, the first, fri first Friday in January. Because the next couple of weekends are holidays. And um, we're going to be having Yule here on the 21st. The promise of the return of the sun. Um, so feel that energy of happiness and joy. This is the most sacred time of the year. And allow yourself to indulge in that. Allow yourself to be feel replenished. We're coming out of the darkness. We're coming into the light. The, the shortest day of the year will be the 21st. And then the return of the king. The return of the light. The return of the sun. We're going to put... Uh, the sun uh, rune on that. All right, Gail, let's see what the runes are saying for you tonight. Please like and share. Tell your friends. 
Um, I'm uh, Kathy Lewis from the Golden Path of the or from the Golden Pathways, and check out my page. I do uh, daily magic every morning, and it's just a nice little spell to start the day. A simple one-line spell that brings in good energy, helps us to get in touch with our magic, um, and then I also do Monday through Friday uh, the daily rune meditation that brings in rune energy and helps us to tap into and become familiar with all the beautiful energies that the runes, the spiritual tools that they truly are. And this is for Gail, is uh, on my Eye of Horus, my sacred runes. It is Hagal, which means hail. So situations around you may not seem ideal, Miss Gail, but do not fret because within this protective energy, within this raising your vibration within this frequency of unconditional love you are continuing to grow and change despite outside circumstances that are beyond our control oh thank you Jacqueline and and allow yourselves to and thank you about cat about my cookies yes they are delicious um, I eat them all the time I have tons of local people that buy them and I am getting a good following on the internet so if you guys want to check them out hit me up let me know on the on my website just order them up um, if you're local enough that you can pick them up or be delivered there's no delivery fee um, so Miss Gail allow yourself within this consider it a um, holding tank or a place within a framework that you can work and allow yourself to grow and allow yourself within the protective energy of these uncontrolled circumstances to continue to grow and change you're not going to stop they're not stopping you you're going to go ahead and as this circumstance changes because as with the weather it always changes and it will melt away and become a better situation for you and allow yourself to ride that wave to allow yourself to do all that good shadow work uh, it's not easy but it feels great when you have those epiphanies about you know wow that's really what that was about wow taking your accountability in a situation wow releasing the illusions that you have all those releases that we did are going to definitely help our readings tonight and they're going to help us to understand and open up to the energy of the high vibing high rising um, elevation that we are experiencing so allow yourself to turn inward or allow yourself to look at those situations that aren't always comfortable and allow yourself to also see the beauty and the gifts and the love that you have um, put inside of you and don't always share with other people there's so much good about you there's so much love and caring and just keep rising up and you will see the change of events because as you ch are transitioning from 3d to 4d to 5d perspective is everything we are we are changing not only vibrationally emotionally physically mentally um, spiritually all of our all of our uh, houses are raise, raising up and becoming more and more in tune with this so let me know how that resonates with you Gail I'm up to beautiful Faye and let's see what's going on with Faye tonight any aches and pains tonight Faye release those release them let them go okay so let's see what we have going on next here beautiful Faye tapping into your energy you're here on the golden path of the runes please like and share tell your friends um, lots of great energy going on tonight I love we got the um, our circle we have our golden um, spheres of protection uh, the knee Oh, let's let that go. I was working on someone else's knee this morning, and I, was, I could tell that it helped them immensely. So we're going to work on your knee, and we're going to pull you around, see what's going on here. And we have need. 
the rune of connection with Mother Earth. So I want right now, I'm going to put this right on your root chakra, and I'm going to send that energy down the vertical column from your root chakra down into Mother Earth. And as we're going by, we're just going to take that energy right out of that knee, release it into the ethereal, and allow those angels and archangels and uh, all those great energies that are here helping us to remove that energy and to help you feel connected. That's a break in the connection with Mother Earth and feel that connectivity and that uh, right down into the center of Mother Earth and feel that beautiful pink energy just flowing down and out and coming back up through your foot through your knee, back into your root chakra, and allowing yourself to feel grounded and connected with Mother Earth. And what a blessing, how much gratitude you feel in your heart, how much love, feel that sacred energy. And this is for all of us, connection with the Mother Earth and the ability to bring energy down from the divine, the whole way down, we're gonna bring that bright white light, feel it changing. Our whole attitude, our whole uh, demeanor, bringing that divine white light in and just every molecule in our body feels that healing energy of Mother Earth, of the divine, of the divine masculine and feminine, just feeling that energy of connection with Mother Earth and allowing us to ground and center and feel that bright white light. Great, Gail, good. I, you have come a thousand miles as we all have but I just feel so much growth there and so much change accountability and recognition and understanding what makes you tick inside so go ahead Faye feel that amazing white light energy in your body and we're gonna heal all those levels let's do red orange yellow green blue indigo violet Feel every level of you healing. Let me know how that works for you, darling. We're up to beautiful cat. Let's tap into cat and see what's going on with her tonight. Ah, oh, you're here on the beautiful golden path of the runes. It's episode 42. Check it out. I've been on this, um, doing these for over a year now on my page. I was on another network before that. And, yeah, if any of you guys want to um, have a Golden Path session with me, um, I am offering a 20% discount right now. Typically $95 or $75. I've had quite a few people. I'm doing um, some clearing sessions, Reiki sessions, uh, Keshik Records, whatever the, the universe says is what's ticking for you right now. So let's go ahead and see what's going on with Kat. And don't forget about my biscuits. And there's the beautiful Eye of Horus. And we're putting Tear. That's all about the Sacral Chakra. All about the Sacral Chakra. Creativity. Passion. Healing. Love. Self-love. Oh, yes, tomorrow we'll have a session. Self-love, um, divine intervention, staying in touch with yourself, feeling the sensuality and sexuality and the power that's in that, the balance of the divine masculine and the divine feminine. Feel that beautiful orange lotus flower. Let's just hang out in the sacral chakra energy. It's powerful, powerful space. And it's all about creation. And it's all about manifestation. It's all about the cauldron. It's all about the energy of creation. And so as we bring the divine energy down and allow it to manifest onto the lower levels, as above and so below, so mote it be and blessed be, being in touch with your creativity and passion of that sacral chakra is a great manifester. Um, I know everybody thinks, oh, thank you, Valkyrie. Yes, good. See, she's feeling better. Her knee, face, knees feeling better. Thank you, Valkyrie. I love doing magic and healing. 
And so go ahead, cat, and allow yourself to feel that energy of the divine coming down and manifesting and coming to fruition on the earthly plane for you. The intentions that you set, and I know we don't have to set huge intentions. We can every day. Today I'm creating a life of a healthy body. Today I am creating um, a heart of gratitude. Today I am creating um, a peaceful day. Today I am creating a day to heal myself. Today I am creating um, a few moments of pure joy. Whatever it is that you want to create, manifest it. Believe it. Breathe it in. Breathe in that love, grace, and forgiveness. Release any of that, um, you know, stuff that's holding you back. That disbelief, the illusion, the fear, the doubt, the shame, all the things that we just released. Let them go and allow that to manifest into your life. You can set simple intentions every day. Just today I will feel gratitude. I am creating a, a body of feeling healthy. I am creating a day of um, tapping into my gifts. Whatever it is that you want for that day, they can be a single day, a single moment, single day manifestation. Allow it to happen. All right, Miss Donna, let's see what's going on with you tonight. I always think I'm ahead and I always end up behind somehow. It's all good, right? All right, Donna, let's see what's going on with you. Let me know how that resonates with you, Kat. All right, guys. I'm going to ring the bell, release any energies, allow ourselves to uh, listen and tune in because we are all gathering information from these readings. And I love how you guys hang out and hear each other's readings because it's true. They're for all of us, all of us. And for Miss Donna... Tonight we are pulling Eel the Elk. This is all about the solar plexus, strength and confidence, protection. We're going to expound that beautiful golden sphere around. And I'm feeling called right now to call in the beautiful um, golden phoenix as we release from the ashes. Bring down that energy. Feel it just coming right down into all of your... Um, molecules in your body and all of your DNA and inviting in that energy of the golden phoenix who from the ashes of the things we released will rise this powerful and healing energy and allow it to rise up in your body in that beautiful golden golden sphere of energy around you and allow yourself to feel that healing and that power and the confidence and strength and step into your power. Call your energies back to your heart space and step into that power. See yourself rising from the ashes, changing. We are changing the frequency of this planet. We are changing the frequency of ourselves. We are becoming less carbon and more crystalline. We are accepting this beautiful, amazing energy of powerful transformation and bringing in and rising like the phoenix from the ashes and those ashes of the things that we released we have made room for all of this amazing powerful energies of unconditional love of freedom of judgment of everyone being um, allowed to bask in the abundance of the universe and raising our vibration and celebrating not only for ourselves and caring and self-love and self-care, but celebrating for all of us that we have been able to rise up and become more connected with each other. Let me know how that resonates with you. I feel very, very powerful. A uh, step up in your confidence is going to help you to tap into the gifts that you have. All right, beautiful crystal, let's see what's going on with you tonight, my dear. Let's remove any stuck energies. Let those chakras spin, sister. There you go. Open up. Allow this information in. Allow these energies in. Allow yourself. All right, let's see what it says for crystal tonight. For beautiful crystal, we have Gifu, the gift. And it's all about the heart chakra. It's all about the heart chakra. It's all about moving on any stuck energies. I just feel like I need to 
put them out into the ethereal and allow them to go. Go away. Open up your heart chakra. Allow the energy to flow. And within this space, we are going to keep that um, amazing and powerful golden orb. Wonderful, Donna. I'm glad you liked it. And uh, Crystal, allow yourself to receive gifts because there's this, I see this wagon wheel of energy, this beautiful, uh, that water is just flowing back to you. It's flowing out and flowing back and allow yourself to be part of the receipt. It's the reciprocation. It's the ripple effect. It's the comeback of energies expended. Allow yourself to drink in that energy and feel connected and loved. Allow yourself to have that come back to you. Allow yourself to drink in the abundance of Mother Earth. Allow yourself to feel self-love and self-care. It's one thing to allow yourself to um, regroup and recharge. It's another thing to actually recognize and feel that within your own heart is where love is. It's not a gift from somewhere else. It's a gift inside of us. We are love. We are unconditional love. We have love. We share with others. And allow yourself, allow yourself to feel that. Like, you don't have to expect love from external sources. It's from inside of you and it flows out and comes back to you in these amazing, beautiful uh, waves and frequency. <clears throat> so allow yourself to feel that crystal. Allow yourself to open up to that energy. All right, Miss Beautiful Valkyrie. How are you feeling tonight, Valkyrie? Yes, your creative side. Yeah, it's, t I mean, you don't have to create the universe every day. Like I said, we can have simple, very poignant things that we are doing for ourselves every day. We're going to create a heart of self-love. We are going, look at your chakras, darling. Let's go for Miss Beautiful Valkyrie. Let's see what we're saying tonight. All right. And we have Answas, the throat. And this is all about the rune of Odin, about messages, understanding and receiving, and being with discernment and helping them flow, removing any stuck energies, asking that this be healed, and bring in that divine connection coming straight down. Feel that bright white light coming right down from the top of the Merkaba and allowing you to understand and discern from the, we receive the information in the front and we have our discernment and understanding in the back and feel that chakra spinning on both sides and allowing yourself to speak and share that information and allow yourself to be so connected in with that and the healing continues, wonderful and allow yourself to receive those messages of healing and love, of light and strength, of beauty and hope, um, of inspiration, of um, allowing yourself to discern what is being brought to you and storing the information for later. I feel like you're getting lots of messages that you'll be using later. So allow them to hang out, allow them to stick around, you don't have to act on every piece of information right now. Let's do those daily. I am creating a body of healing and wellness. I am creating a body of healing and wellness. I am creating a healed body. I am creating a body with beautiful energetic field. I am creating a body with a healed in energetic field. I am creating a body that will have um, connection in my root chakra, beautiful, strong root chakra. I'm connect, creating a body of a beautiful, strong sacral chakra. Just feel the magic, feel the love, feel the strength. Allow yourself to discern the information that's coming in and accept it. All right, beautiful Audrey, let's see what's going on with you tonight, my dear. Let me know how these readings are resonating with you guys. It's a beautiful night. It is December the 17th. I don't even know if I said that tonight. 
And I also don't think I said that the root chakra is does very well with red stones, but my favorite root chakra stone is hematite. Grounding, grounding energy. And you see my beautiful hematite bracelet right here. I never leave home without it. <laughs> Helps me stay grounded and connected. Um, we love to vibrate up here, but we have to live down here, guys. We got to live in our bottom. We got to stay grounded and connected and loving and and confident and ready to live on in these chakras. And these connect us to the divine, and that's beautiful and wonderful. All right, Miss Audrey, let's see what's going on with you, my dear. And we bring in, in Seagull, the sun. And this is all about the east and the air. And I'm going to go ahead and put this right on your solar plexus. Allow yourself to bask in the sun. Allow yourself to feel that action energy, that connection, that warmth, that love. This is the um, divine masculine that is warm and healing. The divine masculine uh, is very protective energy and amazingly good energy. and But the, the divine masculine is also very nurturing and loving and very um, protective in a good way. Um, yes, restoration, healing. Allow yourself, allow your energetic fields. Visualize, let's, let's go right up through it. And as you visualize that sun, let's bring that energy up from Mother Earth red, orange, and yellow. Feel that beautiful bright yellow. Sigil we're going to put right on that solar plexus. And we're going to go ahead and put Eel the Elk to bring that confidence and strength. And then feel the green, blue, indigo, violet. And then we're going to bring that beautiful bright white light right down from um, the top of the Merkaba and allow it to integrate into every cell in our body and recognize the power and strength of the dance of the divine masculine and feminine, the balance of that, the allowing of the unconditional love, the allowing of the freedom of judgment, the allowing of uh, all of us having the abundance and things that we need. So right there, Sigil for beautiful Audrey. Feel that energy of strength. Feel that energy of light. Feel it beaming out from your solar plexus and protecting you with that power and strength of the Divine Masculine. We know how that resonates with you. Beautiful Emily, let's see what's going on with you tonight. Let those chakras spin, sister. We got all our chakras cleared out. We're bringing in all that powerful color energy and all those rays of light from all of our different um, bands, from all of our different levels, from all of our different, there you go, beautiful. So let's see what's going on with Miss Emily. Let's call on our beautiful runes. You're here on the golden path of the runes. Please like and share. Tune in Monday through Friday for my rune meditations, daily rune meditations. And we're getting lots of powerful sacral chakra. There you go, Emily. And that is Tear, the sky god. And that's right on your sacral chakra. Creativity, passion, tapping into your gifts, allowing yourself to feel sensual and beautiful. Happy Friday, Mona. Allow yourself to feel that powerful energy of not being afraid to share, not being afraid to communicate, not being afraid to um, allow yourself to be seen, tapping into that part of yourself that you've hidden away and allowing that sacred, sensual, beautiful self to come out into the open and be seen and to step in with confidence and power for yourself. Um, I feel like there's a lot of gifts that you are not quite tapping into Time to tap into them. Time to allow yourself. Time to allow that creativity. We are turning into creatrixes. We are no longer just producing for other people's benefits. We are creating for ourselves. Great, great, Audrey. I'm glad it's re resonating with you. 
we are creating for ourselves now. We are using our gifts. We are becoming who we want to be. We are allowing our dreams to come true. We are stepping into our heart space. We are stepping into our power. And we are allowing ourselves to be seen for who we are. And so look at your gifts. Look at your creativity. Allow yourself to experiment with that. I mean, there's tons of things that you can go out and try, and if they don't resonate with you, that's cool. You can leave them go. But things are manifesting at such a huge rate of speed that it's time to allow ourselves to be the creators that we are. All right. Shavai. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but you're next, my dear. Let's see what's going on with this. Recognize and release. I'm screwing up my lighting. <laughs> Producer. Technical advisor. Show manager. <laughs> Director. <laughs> That's me. And the talent. <sighs> Let's clear out any stale energy. I hope you all are enjoying tonight. I know this is a super busy time of year for a lot of people, but allow yourself to enjoy it. Allow yourself to enjoy the trip. All right. Shive. Shive. Hope I'm saying that right. You never know. I have Horace runes, and there's our beautiful ants was again. It's all about the throat. It's all about that throat chakra. It's all about communication. It's all about allowing yourself to receive information. Remove any stuck energies. Allow it to flow with grace and ease. That beautiful, magical ocean energy. We're going to allow it to flow out. We're going to allow our, our um, gifts and our creativity and our passions to be spoken, to be shared, to be um, recognized. Um, great Audrey, I'm glad, and allow ourselves to um, flow in the divine feminine, but also with that divine masculine punch behind it, we are allowing ourselves to rise up in this power and to be able to speak and communicate our truths and to not have to feel anger, resentment, and all of those low vibing things. We are Feeling it with unconditional love, with lack, without judgment, um, speaking our truth, communicating our gifts, sharing with others, allowing ourselves to step into the power, to step into our energy. We are the light. We are full of love. We are sending this out. We are powerful. We are recognizing our gifts. We are recognizing our messages. We are communicating and getting across the things that we want to tell to other people. We want to have hope and joy and inspiration and all of those wonderful things. Let me know how that resonates with you. Arcelia, I'm going to go ahead and read for you, even though I know you probably had to scoot along. And we're doing, oh, i am only got four minutes left. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I swore I was going to have this all done tonight. We will. I have Sherry, Veronica, Jacqueline, Mona, and Monica. And I will do all of your readings. That's one two, three, four, five. Okay. All right, Miss Arcelia, let's see what's going on with you tonight. I received some beautiful candles from Arcelia, the moon girl, and she makes beautiful candles. And this is Lagaz. It's all about trusting your intuition. It's all about allowing the information to come in, opening up, and trusting what you're getting and allowing it to flow through and come through and of course come out through our throat chakra I'm going to remove any stuck information and sh just feel that amazing energy of that third eye I'm bringing that energy right down from the Merkaba right down into all of our molecules in our body and rewriting our DNA to be completely in touch with and open to the divine downloads, to um, the attunements, to the ascension lights, to all the amazing energies that we're getting right now and allowing yourself to step into the power of trusting your divine feminine, that flow of water, that amazing magical ocean energy. Let me know how that resonates with you. Beautiful Sherry. Let's see what's going on with you tonight. Let's get your 
tap into your energy. <sighs> Powerful. All right, Miss Sherry, let's see what's going on with you. And as we see our beautiful Sherry, you're not going to believe this. And that is the message of the night. Ants was the throat chakra, the communication, allowing ourselves to step into our power, allowing ourselves to recognize our creative side, our passions that we love, and being able to communicate and and share those energies with everyone else to be able to communicate, to be able to clear. I'm clearing out any stuck energies. There won't be frustration, but flow and allow that magical truth to come flowing from your mouth and all those beautiful energies of creation that you are working on and sharing with other people and allowing it to flow and remove that stuck energy. It's all about flow for you, my dear. I feel like sometimes you get frustrated because you're not always getting the chance to communicate exactly when you want to and how you want to. And now, um, let's go ahead and allow that energy to come out with grace and ease and feel that beautiful, amazing communication. And feel, I'm just removing any frustration that you have over that. Because sometimes I feel you get frustrated when you can't always say exactly what you want. But there's such a beauty and a fluidity. I'm just putting honey right on your tongue so it just flows off of it. And everyone wants to hear it and everyone wants to see it. Beautiful Veronica, let's see what's going on for you tonight, my dear. And as we tap into your energy, my beautiful rose quartz. And it's pink, Valkyrie, just bringing it in. Hi, Stace. I'm sorry I don't have time to read for you tonight. It's 10, and I still have four people going here. Veronica, Tear, the sky god, the power, the energy, stepping into your energy. Let's put that right on your um, solar plexus and feel that amazing energy. Visualize that beautiful golden globe coming out and allow yourself to be within that amazing wonderful sphere of protection and feel that because you like feel that energy of mother earth feel that energy of protection feel that major um, divine masculine protecting you and allow yourself to flow and be beautiful person that you are feel that protection I feel that golden globe around you I feel that Merkaba around you and our circle which we will open but it's never broken that energy never is broken so feel that confidence and strength you need to step into it call it back into your heart space all right Jacqueline we got Jacqueline, Mona, and Monica left. Let's tap into Jacqueline's energy. Beautiful Jacqueline. And she's in the morning space. Okay, removing any stuck energies from you, my dear. And we're bringing back. There we go. Get those chakras spinning. Get them spinning. Let's see what information we have for you in Australia. Okay. Let's see what Jacqueline gets. Call on the beautiful Eye of Horus runes to bring the most pure and powerful information. And she's getting Feyu, which is all about the root chakras, where we're at tonight. And it's all about abundance. It's all about gathering the gifts. We're putting that right on your root chakra. I want you to feel connected and secure with Mother Earth. I want you to feel those energies coming in. I want you to feel connected with the abundance of the earth. I want you to feel um, how you're so grounded and stable and secure and allow yourself to no longer live in survival mode. Step up into thrive mode. It's time for you to feel that um, energy of security and strength and start to thrive. Up your vibration. Allow yourself to feel that energy of Mother Earth. Feel it coming up through your feet 
and just feel that divine energy just beautiful Merkaba coming down and feeling connected and divine feeling secure and stable feeling that survival is no longer your pre-programming we're releasing that survival mode programming and we're bringing in thrive mode time to make room for you to thrive and let me know how that resonates with you we're up to beautiful Mona Monica if you're still here let me know if not I'm gonna go ahead and finish with Mona and tap into her beautiful energy Mona ready for spring you know it's been so warm and it's and it is going to be uh, winter here in a couple days but we really haven't had cold weather <laughs> It's really weird but um, okay beautiful Mona let's see what's going on here oh you're in Iowa I've heard it was really really windy out there eel the elk right on your solar plexus stepping into your power okay Monica you're next my dear good thank you and we're just gonna step into that power allow yourself to stand proud and tall and stand in Call your energies back to your heart space. Allow that golden globe to surround you with protection and really step into your power. Really recognize your power of manifestation. Um, you're setting your... Oh, yeah. Yeah. So allow yourself to feel that energy. Tap into that weather energy. Bring that into your repertoire. Thor, you know, he teaches us that you can control the energies of, uh, and, and bring them into, you know, once you recognize and respect the energy, you can bring it into your work. So allow yourself to, um, you know, allow yourself to receive that energy. Right, good. No frustration, that's it. Relieve this frustration. So go ahead, uh, Mona, and... Step into your power, step into your energy, tap into those universal energies, that Mother Earth energy, that divine energy, allowing yourself to step into that and receive it and feel that amazing power that you have. And, and stay grounded because when you stay grounded, you're bringing it down to the level of manifestation. All right, Monica, last reading of the night. Um, don't forget, check out the Golden Pathways. Check out my daily rune meditations, Monday through Friday. Um, every day I try to do... Yes. Try, yeah, tap into that four-year-old energy. Boom. <laughs> yep. Um, don't forget to check out my Blessed Biscuits. Um, they do have CBD oil in them, so I can only send them domestically right now. Um, but they are delicious, relaxing, great gifts. I do have that three-month subscription box. Um, I also have my um, rune, blessed rune chest that I used last week for the readings available for $100. You can't even get the crystals in that for $100. And it has the rune energy. Each crystal is charged with the rune energy. It's hand painted. And I would be glad to ship it to you free shipping. All right, Monica, let's see what's going on with you, my dear. Last but certainly not least. Got lots of powerful runes in here tonight. Tons of powerful runes. And there's another one, Yuraz, the great wild ox. And this is all flowing right in from what I was just saying to Mona. Monica, tap into that energy of Mother Earth. Bring that energy down. The ox is so grounded. See how it's in touch in the ground in two separate spots? It brings that powerful energy down to Mother Earth and manifests. So set your intentions. Align yourself. Allow that frequency to feel in your body exactly how it is. It is how it feels to be what you're intending and bring that energy to Mother Earth and manifest and allow yourself to have that energy. I'm being called to grab my Bjork mirror. This is all about birth through all timelines, dimensions, um, planes and realities. Allow us to manifest 
and bring in these energies. And I got one more trick. They're telling me to bring out my rattle. I haven't rattled. Shook my rattle all night. I will see you guys next year. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, I can check on shipping my room chest to Australia if you're interested. PM me later, babe. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> this is late. I got a lot of stuff on my uh, agenda this weekend, but I would, I could think I could do that. I mean, if there's nothing in it that couldn't go to Australia. Clear the energy. Ah, our chakras are all zapped out. We're feeling amazing. And we're going to thank, thank you guys for coming. Thank you for the energy. I hope you enjoyed your readings. Um, I will see you next year. Um, let's go ahead and release the, the circle. Let's go um, to the west in the water and the beautiful healing energy. It's our emotional healing energy of the bear, of the water, of uh, Gabriel the messenger. Thank you for coming to our circle, to the south and the fire and the beautiful wolf. And that's our um, uh, mental emotional healing, our mental healing. Thank you for bringing our mental healing tonight and bringing us protection and strength of the Archangel Michael of the West and the, or I'm sorry, the East in the air and the beautiful Eagle energy and Hecate and Raphael, the healers and the Eagle that helps us to soar and see truth. And that is all about our spiritual healing and the North and the earth and mother earth. And our, that's all about our physical healing Thank you for the Ar Archangel Uriel for coming and the Buffalo and White Buffalo Mother. And thank you all for coming. And the circle is open but never broken. Take your beautiful golden globe energies with you. And don't forget to check out my page if you guys are interested in my rune chest. Thank you so much. Let me know if you're interested in having a session with me. Let me know. If you're interested in my blessed biscuits, let me know. And thank you so much. And have a beautiful, blessed holidays. And stay in touch. I will be having my show live again. I believe it's the 6th. See you then. Good night.